Right then, good afternoon, good evening, and good morning. Welcome to the View from the Afternoon special bulletin. <laughs> or just an episode. I'm just going to just be, I don't know what number it is because we're filming a few of them out of sync. Hi, Raz. Hiya. It's been a very stressful evening. It certainly fuck has. Fuck me. Yeah. Can we get some food after this? Oh, yeah. Like, I, what, what are you feeling? Well, with Hello Fresh, <laughs> you actually. <laughs> Um, I don't know, something cheap, man. I'm broke yeah. as fuck at the minute. Yeah. Um, me and Raz have just tink been tinkering around because tinkering around we've got a live stream on Friday where we're doing the Centurion, uh, the first live stream of Lockdown 2. Raz is a lot yeah. of beer because he's in a support bubble. We Correct. We are a support bubble yep. with one another. I live alone. Got the Benjis to live alone. <laughs> nice point. <laughs> yeah. Um, and it turns out, <coughs> it turns out that oh, that'll be good for the people listening in the car as they're driving, just listening to someone hack up some phlegm. <laughs> <laughs> Look, it's been a really long evening. We've been fucking around with the Mac, and I'm not going to even bore you with what happened. But we figured out why the audio didn't work when we did the Piccadilly stream. Yeah, that was funny, wasn't it? And of all the shit to dig into, all the system preferences, all the audio settings, all the MIDI settings, all the fucking advanced USB settings. Trying different ports, trying different cables, trying different internet networks, trying different live stream services, trying different streaming platforms. Guess what the fucking problem was, Raz? You already know. What was it? It was the power. The fucking charger for the Mental. Mac. Um, if any of you out there get the reference to uh, of Pandora's battery, let us know in the comments below because one, you'll appreciate our thinking that we just did. And number two... We'd like to have a good chat about it on the podcast, but we need to make sure that there's an audience for it. <laughs> <laughs> I would love. Me and Razzy have been talking about doing a podcast about um, our b most beloved games console, and if you'd like to see that, then let us know. But today we're here to talk about something else. We have actually shoehorned this into our schedule, hence the new angle and new lighting, and we're using a different camera as well. Um, we're using the webcam that we normally <laughs> use to stream like drums on my Twitch channel, twitch.tv slash Rob Kellis, I think. Um, you got one of them side ventures, have you there? <laughs> I got me of that side venture. I made about, I think I got about uh, 50 quid off Twitch. Yeah? Yeah, man. I wonder what I could stream. <laughs> Literally me painting, painting a wall, yeah. yeah. I'd watch that. I've gone for a brilliant white today by Dulux, because he's got the Benjis. Can I be a mod in your home <laughs> painting? <laughs> oh, God. So it's been stressful. We're here in the penthouse where it's freezing cold because the heating don't work, the water don't work. You know, you see on the gram, like, you yeah. Know, with, the oh. juxtaposition always gets <laughs> yeah. it. I can, I can look at the town hall and see what time it is. Yeah, but my fucking hands are freezing. <laughs> yeah, but I can also check the temperature on the big LCD display outside and see that it's that temperature in here. Oh, so we wanted to talk about something that is in the news slightly at the minute. Obviously, yeah. we've just gone into <coughs> lockdown 3.0. Um, it's a difficult one, is the third yeah, season. I, th I think it's got to be the most difficult because it's like it, we're, in, we're in winter now and let's face it, you get like three hours of daylight if you're me and wake up at <laughs> <laughs> 11. <laughs> yeah, if you, if you gear your life up to see no daylight, then you won't see any yeah, daylight. Yeah, it's hard. I see loads of it because here in the penthouse, we've got a wall full of windows that hangs over the city. <laughs> yeah, but what, what way are you facing? What was that? Town. What way is town? Is that north? I don't fucking know. I don't fucking know. <laughs> <laughs> right. So it feels like I'm facing the North Pole. Yeah, correct. Anyway, we wanted to talk about uh, the question of, do we think festivals are going to happen this year? Because I think that's, it's, it's the reason, uh, again, it's the reason that like anybody watches this fucking thing. Um, and it's a, it's an interesting question. Um, we feel like we, we have an audience that thinks we know something when the reality is right off the bat, we'll tell you, we know fuck all. Let's face it. Yeah. We've, we've, we've always known fuck all. Yeah. Like when we do those like deep dive videos about like, um, lineups across the years, like you'll always get some smarmy cunt like three years later that jumps in the comments and goes, Rob actually said there that hot fuss by the killers came out in 2004. It was actually released in 2005. So clearly, I don't know what the fuck I'm on about. <laughs> well, obviously, yeah, yeah. Um, but yeah, we we don't have any insider information, of course. It's probably not even decided yet, but we just wanted to kind of riff and see what we think about festivals this year and yeah. whether or not they're going to happen. Um, 
Because so, if they don't, then fuck my ass. <laughs> it's going to be a boring year on the channel oh, again, isn't it? And I can't wait to save no money, but I have more coats than ever. <sighs> I do want... Anyway, anyway <laughs> I, I digress. Can we just say, since changing the charger, this stream hasn't cut out yet. And I know it probably wouldn't have done within six minutes, but that's pretty good. Even let's still. see what let's see what happens. Anyway, welcome to <laughs> welcome to technical difficulties with Raz and Rob. Today we're going to talk about USB buses. Ooh, the annoying thing with the USB buses, you bloody wait for one and then two come at once. <laughs> um, Kill me. The first live event that I've got lined up for the year, and I th I'm sure it's probably the same for you, unless you're holding out on me with a secret gig, Razzy, right. is April's. Fingers crossed tour by Biffy Clyro. Yeah, it's going to be... Oh, you're doing all of them, aren't you? Are you going to yeah, attempt to do all of them? Yeah, but the first one is... Oh, yeah, but we're doing the first one together because it's Liverpool. Oh, are we? I think oh, so, yeah. great. That'll be incredible. Yeah, exactly. Happens. Exactly. This because, is the thing. All my faith but, at the minute, my entire um, look forward to thickness <laughs> is encapsulated. <laughs> my entire look forward to ness is encapsulated by these Biffy gigs. True. Um, do you think that is genuinely going to happen? <laughs> April, consider <sighs> like there's a lot to work through, and I think about when like we were in, um, when we were in like June and July, yeah, and we were thinking about going to America in October. Yeah, we'd been in lockdown for three months, and we were saying, "There's no way." Yeah, like, we, we, we we need to be able to go. We it's were saying like, yeah. So when it was when it was in between. March lockdown and October, whatever the midpoint was, we were like, think how different it was three months ago. Yeah. Right. It was totally different. Like we were fully locked down. Yeah. yeah. Now we can go to bars. We can go to pubs again. Yeah. We can do this, that and the other. So we were kind of thinking on that curve in yeah. another three months, everything's going to be fine. And I'm yeah, kind of yeah. telling my, and we'd be able to go to America and not have to fuck about Europe and go in the boring as fuck Scottish route 66. True. Um, but we did have to do that, and it was shit. Um, <clears throat> so I'm thinking now, like, that's that's three months away is April. Like, it's yeah. got to be solved. They're going to have, like, I think I heard on the news today, 80, oh, no, 100% of the top four most vulnerable categories of people, or whatever that right word is for that, um, are going to be fully vaccinated by the end of, by mid-Feb. Yeah, yeah. Which then says to me, like, Sick, great. Let's go see Biffy Clyro. Yeah, you know yeah, I mean? yeah, yeah. If we if we get it, we'll probably be fine. I don't know. Do you know what, man? I don't know what more we could do to get COVID nineteen. It's true. We're, we're not we're not trying to get it. Obviously, we don't want it. We are literally a live events and travel based creator. It's like the, it's the two things that are really gonna you're gonna get it, man. But if the, the, we must have had it. We must have had it. We went to Milan. Yeah. Bef that, that, and that was even before anyone even really knew about it. You know, it wasn't really well, in, the, it, in the news here, at least. Yeah, it was. It was like, ooh, this thing's going on in China. Yeah, we just missed the quarantine window, like, by, yeah. by two weeks when we got back. From yeah, Milan. yeah, yeah, true. Yeah. So we went to Milan. And then the second the pubs were reopened, we were there literally the second. Yeah. <laughs> um, <laughs> yeah, like, literally, we went to yeah. Weatherspoons at 8 a.m. Yeah. And people will be thinking, "Oh, fucking wankers!" But if you're allowed to do it, you're allowed to do it. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, like, yeah. I'll follow the I'll follow the guidelines. But yeah, if we're allowed to do that, then we're gonna do it. We were there at opening time, and we spent every second we could doing something. Then we went all around Europe. Um, you know, we went to essentially a festival again. Al allowed to do it. These were um, all things that were yeah. We allowed. We, we had an outdoor gathering of less than thirty people at Jay Gray Fest. Um. I, and I guess the frustrating thing for me is it sounds really selfish and there's no way for me to sugarcoat it, but I don't mean it in the way it sounds. Oh, here we go. But I have been able to do all that. Yeah. yeah. And I'm fine. <clears throat> yeah. I've done, I've lived like this for almost a year now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You said if we live to be 100, that's 1% 1 of our entire life gone gone yeah and i know it sounds selfish but there needs to be a point where we're just like like short like i know it's about spreading it but 
the people who are most vulnerable, get them fucking vaccinated, which they're doing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, this is going to yeah. get so fucking demonetized. Yeah. Um, <laughs> is this and, is and only, this is only opinion, though. If that's this done is... by February and the most vulnerable people are vaccinated by February, everything just switch back on. I don't understand. Yeah, yeah, what, yeah, yeah. I yeah. don't understand why and not. If, and if we, if, we, if we decide to have a little kiss and we spread it between ourselves, we're not going to suffer badly with it. And 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 people over the age of like uh, sixty five or 80, 80 or whatever, well, they, they, li- be they, done, they, they literally can't get it, or they will get it and not suffer. So you know what? If it means if it means I'm probably going to go to a gig and then have a two week long cough, or I'm I'm super playing it down by the way, but you get the idea. We'll we'll probably get over it. It's, um, a, it's a dangerous conversation to have in it because yeah, you know someone out there has like lost someone to COVID. Or someone in the family's been really fucked by COVID. Yeah. And I'm really sorry to hear that, even though I've just made that up. I'm really sorry that that's happened. And it's tragic. But I've kind of lost what my point is, trying to make sure that people don't get angry about what you're I'm say, saying. You're saying it, 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 you need to have that. It, it needs, it needs to, to be it, a bit it, of a middle ground yeah, where, yeah. like... Life we, can we, resume. I want, I, want to, I want to start being a bit selfish about it, <laughs> to be honest. But I, I want to be able to go to a reason. Biffy gig and say, like, I am consciously doing this. I know I'm going to be rammed with other people who have also consciously done it. And if I get put on my deathbed because of that, I'll be like, fair enough. I took yeah, that risk. Yeah. That yeah. was on me. But I understand that it's not about that. It's about infecting others. So get that. I'm, I'm kind of <laughs> ranting here about what's already what they've already said they're going to do. So apparently everyone's going to yeah. be vaccinated by February. That's no, great. people people in those top t- uh top four. Yeah, sorry, the top top uh, four tiers are gonna be. Yeah, whatever they call tiers, things like that. The vulnerable people. But yeah, just get them out of the way. So the so the deaths deaths start to fall, and then people are less hos- hospitalized, and then you know what? Hopefully by by mid March we can be we can you can actually make concrete plans and go. This thing will happen. Uh, I'm still of the mindset that. Uh, the the economy comes first so like lives are all, all well and good but like businesses need to make money and so and music venues need to make money they're all businesses which feed tax into the into the system and that's that's important this year to re- recover from the yeah uh, but that's a controversial thing to say as well isn't it because like oh, i don't know it's a, it's gone on for so man. long now like yeah. oh that's I'm, a, I'm, I'm a so real. sick of it. I, it's <laughs> just this is just coming from two lads who are just sick of it, man. Like at the start, yeah, it was like, I'm, oh shit. Down even when download was cancelled, I was like, damn. Even when Leeds was cancelled, I'm live on camera when Leeds got cancelled. Yeah, that yeah, clip yeah, of me. Yeah, and yeah, like, but I wasn't really gutted because I was like, do you know what? I'll I'll take this hit. Like, it's the it's it's for the best for everyone. Yeah. Yeah, but because we, the government have fucked about, we eat out to help out. Which again, <laughs> like I've I've taken yeah, advantage yeah. of all these things. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Someone should have just gone to us in March. Listen, you fucking <laughs> wankers, stay inside. Well, they did say stay inside, mm. but we're having six months where everyone's inside. Mm. Don't even exercise. They should have said that. Don't exercise. I don't need to fucking <laughs> exercise. Yeah. I do, mate. This I mean, is the con- This is the issue. So we're in a lockdown, right? But I can see the street there. There's lots of cars. Not lots, but there's cars out there, right? I see it every day. There's cars, yeah. buses, people going to work on buses to work in shops because click and collect is available. Like, and there's people, myself included to a degree, that's like, right, click and collect's available. So is it really that bad if I do this when someone can just go to next and pick up? So, like... It needs to be concrete. Yeah. None of that shit. <clears throat> lockdown one again. The yeah. lockdown one, it was really clear in lockdown one because I knew when I was out of the house, like I need to be doing something that's yeah, in these yeah, guidelines. Yeah. Yeah. Right now, I, when Raz came around, I had to say, are you allowed to be here? And he is because he's in the support bubble. But the fact I don't know that and I've watched all the briefings and I've read the fucking document, but... Yeah, I feel as though this one's a bit more lenient. Um, it's but- totally fucking lenient, mate. Like literally Danny's... Danny. Danny can go to next and is planning on going to next to pick up a click and collect order. Yeah, yeah. Um, on the 8th, what day is it today? It's the 6th and he's still got a pending COVID test. Now, obviously, <laughs> if that if that yeah, hasn't yeah. come back yeah. or if it comes back as positive, 
then he's, he's not obviously not going to go. Yeah. But it's that thing of like, if he wakes up that morning and he feels like all good, I am not, next is just there. I am not, because that means I have to isolate as well, you know, with the whole bubble thing. That'd be <sighs> annoying for me. I'm just ranting. Like, yeah, I mean, you this are. Meant and, to you be a rant. and you said this wasn't going to be an hour long conversation. Guess what? Boom. <sighs> There's a 30 minute mark right there. Who the fuck's 30 minute mark? <laughs> <laughs> and why is he only taking yeah, that? An now? acceptable for po- performance, I reckon, from, from Mark there. I think I'm just concerned because I'm selfishly concerned because oh. I was at some real lows in 2019. 20, yeah. No, 2019 was fucking ace. 2020, some real lows. And I'm just not feeling good about doing that again. I don't think anyone wants to repeat it last year, let's face it. Um, it's it's crazy. It's, I know, I know this is going further down a tangent, but it's crazy to think that's the same year, last, last year, same year that we did like the weather, weather spoons table. Yeah. Like, not the, the t- weather spoons challenge. Yeah, the challenge. How many possible uh, pubs can you go to Milan. in one day? Yeah. I went yeah. on a 1975 tour and did like all but two, excuse me, all but two shows. It's incredible the amount of burps that's in this podcast. <laughs> it's good, isn't it? Honest, somebody, somebody make a compilation. I know it's only small, but somebody do it, please. Um, there is another thing that we did this year, which what? was perfectly legal and within the things, but I'm going to save it for a confession. Ah, that's okay. It's the, um, <laughs> right. you know what I mean? <laughs> no, <laughs> no, but I, I hope you blur that. <laughs> right. <laughs> yeah. The, the, the thing is. That wasn't a blur job. That was a cough that I was doing. Oh. That wasn't a blur oh, job. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, of course. Yeah, yeah. Um, Yes. This all this rant is. I'm sorry for ranting. I'm just a bit vexed about it. Yeah. the The thing is, we all want something to look forward to. That's that's the thing. We all want, we all want a light at the end of the tunnel. And by the way, fucking Boris is bad with that kind of stuff, isn't it? The light at the end of the tunnel. And, uh, mm, yes. We we are going. To <laughs> yes. Yes. Power. <laughs> it's oh. really bad for that kind of stuff. But we all want, we all want something to look forward to. God, our mannerisms uh, are so similar. <laughs> yeah. like me and Raz we have more in common I'd say than any I, I have more I know it's with Raz I have more in common with him than anyone else like we order the same things we drink the same things we we're very different in some ways but in many ways we're exactly the same and we both just did that power then we both tapped our phone looked at the time locked it in the exact same way like fuck me that's scary <laughs> friends everybody support bubble support bubble yeah. a little bit of the bubble yeah, I, I think, yeah, you just want something to look forward to. And the, th- the things that most people look forward to is live events or a gig, oh, especially in our community, live events and travel. And you can't do fuck all about, about either of them right now. And even having a date where you say, I'm going to book this. It's like, have you seen the whole Ryanair jab and go thing? Like, yeah. that, that's, like that's, I get what they're trying to do with the promo there, but it's just H- pissing people H- off. Hotels are doing the same thing. Hotels.com, yeah. like, it's like... We've got great like cancellation policy. Yeah, yeah, and I'm down for that. I get it. And you know what? I want to be the person that's like, yeah, I'll book it, but I'll probably get a refund. But at least then, if things do change, I've got plans. But it's just not the same. Like you can't be excited for something like I can book a gig now that's in like uh, towards the end of this year. But you can't be like thrilled about it and be like, oh yeah, I'm seeing this act at the end of the year because Cause, yeah, because you're thinking I'm not. Like I can't. Yeah, I think about this Biffy gig. Every day, yeah. Every day, I think of them walking on stage, everyone cheering, um, those first notes, the first line. I think about yeah. everything about that gig. Just thinking about the do, do, do. Honestly, mate, I, I, yeah. I can see it in my head, and I'm there with my best pals, and it's gonna be class. But is it? Probably not. And I've got so much faith and I so have. many stocks in that um experience that then when it's taken away from me. I'm gonna feel like shit again. It's so strange because we, weirdly, like I'm, I'm being quite positive. Like I was, on, I was on a call the the other day with with some people. Um, oh my! <laughs> yeah, yeah, they charge like three quid an hour. Uh, it's crazy, and a, <laughs> and a one pound fifty connection fee. Jesus. <laughs> anyway, didn't even get to see what I wanted to see. Um, that's some terrible banter. That, um, and everyone was like such a so negative. Like just so like oh yeah like but there's but like I think like the vaccine is is a thing there's a like there's a way out now um, and I think if you if you if, if you don't remain positive about it then you, then you're not gonna end up in a in a good place anyway I know I know it's easier said than done I don't done, know that. I don't know if but, I agree but like 
I guess I guess it's based upon some information, but not all, not all the information that I could possibly get. Because the next thing I hear is like, "Ooh, my fr- my friend's actually works in pharmaceuticals, and he's saying this, that, and the other." Oh, actually, it doesn't give you full immunity or whatever. But I'm like, I'm not, a, I'm not a, I'm not a scientist. I'm not, I'm not in any way involved here at all. But I'm like, if you're telling me that people are dying and you're going to target them with a vaccine and it kicks in after w- uh, a couple, a couple of weeks and provides some immunity, then the deaths are deaths are going to fall. And at some point, government's going to go, yeah, yeah, it's it's not as bad as it was. Pubs start to reopen. So then you get to make plans. Oh, let's meet up with friends. And even that, like, that's better than better than nothing. Then ev- eventually restaurants, they, they come back. And you start to appreciate those those little things that where you can make plans and you can look forward to them. So that's the one thing getting me through. Maybe it's not a, maybe it's not a gig, but that's not to say that that gig won't happen. Well, it that's, could, another, it could still, that's another thing. Because like, it's going to be mad how, how fast they, they roll it out. Yeah, I mean, they d- they've already done like 2 million, I think, as of today, which isn't a lot in the grand scheme of things, but it's a lot more than they had done last week. UK has a population of 66 million. Is that right? Yeah. Yeah, so that's a sizable chunk. And I think and 80% th- of the over 80s in the country are currently vaccinated, I heard on the news today on Sky. Yeah. So take that with a pinch of salt. Give it a couple of weeks, man. You, you just got to wait it out. Oh, it's so fucking appreciate the lock this lockdown in particular. I I'm it's hard it's so hard to just stay like again like might be something I edit out, but I hope not because it's a sincere point and it's coming from a place of trying to combat it and I'm forced to combat it really. But like people who are vulnerable <laughs> You're gonna say just stay at home. I need to think very <laughs> cleverly about how I say this. People who are, people who are over eighty. Yep. Give them an iPad. Show them how to use FaceTime. They're not going to gigs. They're not going to festivals anyway. Yeah. I've proven that I can do whatever the fuck I want within reason, within the guidelines, going all over the co- all over the continent, going to gigs when they're on, yeah, going yeah. to the pubs. Yeah. And I'm all right. I know not everyone's in such a privileged position. Yeah. As we've done this now for almost 12 months, I would love it if there was a way, and I know there's not, but I would love it if there was a way where we could be like, right, pay everyone full pay that's that's uh, vulnerable. Yeah. The staying at home, and we're going to do house calls and give everyone that's vulnerable the vaccine. If you don't want to have the vaccine, that's fine. Your 100% furlough expires in four weeks. Yeah. If yeah. you haven't had it done by then, it's on you. Um, any young fit lads that want to go see a Scottish <laughs> rock band, um, feel free. Yeah, I know it doesn't work like that. This is like the I, I just kind of want to do like a right. We've tried it your way now for a year. Let's try yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fuck me. And this you is say like, if we live to a hundred, like it's one percent of our life. I don't. I, I genuinely like if I live to fifty, which is more realistic. I think. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's two percent of my life. Yeah, you ain't getting those years back, fam. And it's I've shut up, <laughs> and, <laughs> and I've I've done I've done it now. You know I've struggled. We've all struggled. Yeah. Every, I know we're all in it together. I don't know. It's it's very controversial to say, and you know I think we. Well, I I realize how much privilege we're very we, we privileged, have. absolutely privileged. And you only right. realize when it's when your experiences are stripped away from you. You realize how insignificant the things around you are. I'm in my dream. This is with, aside from a few issues. As aforementioned, the yeah. heating, the water. Um, this is like my dream flat that I've wanted since I was independently living. But I'm not fucking happy, really. <laughs> not really that happy, mate. No, nah, no. Nah. I've got, we have a great YouTube channel with an audience size that is modest, but I yeah. couldn't have dreamed of having. There's a great community there. Couldn't you know, have dreamed you know of having people. that. But it's not fulfilling me. We're not putting out content. I'm thinking about that. It's not giving me what I want. I've got a wardrobe full of stuff I couldn't imagine six, seven years ago. I don't know of a draft. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm not happy about it. Yeah. I've really realized yeah. how important experiences are and nothing's more valuable than your time. And I've, yeah, yeah, we, yeah. Yeah. I'm not just saying yeah. me as if I'm the martyr. We've all had almost a year now written off. Yeah, well, yeah. And I'm saying that as someone who's done a damn sight more than most. There's people who haven't left yeah. the house since March. Yeah, and we've I find that been incredible. fortunate enough to do yeah. loads of shit still. Yeah, it's yeah. Um, oh God. 
Anyway, I feel like this is getting a bit political. Yeah, and it's I don't know the politi- fucking first thing about political. politics. Uh, We're not here to talk about politics. I don't want to talk about <laughs> politics. <laughs> you see that, um, who is it, the front man from in Chicago got a tweet. Oh, whatever he's doing, I don't care. He's tweeting, out, obviously, a lot about, about politics. As I do, it's in Chicago. You haven't thought this through, have you, lads? <laughs> <laughs> Keep so, it in, in a tweet. Some, somebody tweeted him saying, like, uh, oh, like, give it a rest and go back to making bangers. And, and he tweeted back, like, <laughs> saying, like, I'd love to go back to making bangers, but this, that, and the, and the other. And it's like, yeah, they've both got great points, but shut up, the both of you. Mm. <laughs> shut up. <laughs> you just doing it for the likes. I'm glad Healy's um, <laughs> taking a break from socials because he'd be personal at a tripe at the minute. Yeah. Um, we're here to talk about festivals and gigs, not have a rant. I'm just frustrated. We're all frustrated. I uh, feel like everyone, everyone I'd is rather here. take out my frustration by having a rant here than yeah. take it out by not obeying the rules, by... You know, being a like that's how I'm vetting my frustration. I think I think everyone's frustrated and I hope that they can that people can listen to this and, and be like, Yeah, I feel you. I get I get it. I feel that like, I feel that way too. But again, like positive. Maybe a month or two. It, I'm thinking like of how in a way how good that first lockdown was in many ways. Like yeah. me and Dan. Dan was furloughed. I was furloughed a hundred percent. Excuse me. Um, expensive mic, this. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's gonna Oop. stink a burp. Um, and we were just like chilling all the time, play, play Nintendo Switch. Yeah. For like eight, nine hours a day, and then we get to Friday. We'd do a live stream. Mm. We'd interact with people. It was great. We'd get yeah. to know new people. It'd be class. We get hammered. And then the night after, I'd always be on the quiz. The neighbor, yeah, yeah. our mates, uh, Dan and Gregor and Jack did a quiz like every week during that lockdown for the most part. And it was a real routine. It was more routine than I've got yeah. now working from I f- home. I feel I'm, like... I'm working now. Do you know what I've done? I've worked from, from the sofa, as you've seen. Yeah. Tonight has been a bit different because we've had shit to do once, um, once I finish work. Yeah. Because yeah. we had a few missions to lick and that. <laughs> yeah. Um, but when it's been me and Dan, and after work, it's like YouTube time and just chilling time, which yeah, I really yeah. value. Yeah. But I'm sat in the same places where I've just been working for eight hours. Yeah, yeah. And it you, fucking does my head You in. don't have any time to disconnect. So like before you'd have that commute home, which is either, well, it's bloody, it's a short walk for, for some, uh, uh, a 45 minute drive. Uh, for, oh, do you for work others. at 5.05? <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, you don't have that time to like just go, right, this is life now. Uh, this is, this is the thing as well. Fuck work. Life's more important, right? Absolutely, um, man. Yeah. I feel like the only thing going going on is like work, especially if you're working from home. One uh, of my, um, someone I know was recommending a podcast today about like inspirational people. This is in, this is in relation to your life's more important than work thing. And he was like, yeah, this guy, forget his name. was a, is it a Gurkha? I don't know what that means. It was a Gurkha who climbed the 14 highest peaks in the world right? in seven months. And before that, it had taken someone five years to achieve that same thing. Right. Because he didn't have a fucking job. <laughs> <laughs> like, do you know yeah. what I mean? Because he's like, yeah, yeah. and he's got the money. Like, that, how's that going to inspire you? What's the... How, oh, I don't sorry, know. That, I, don't know what, I don't know what... Yeah, it's to like... It's to be like the successful people like living their like how the fuck is yeah. that gonna inspire yeah. me? Yeah. First of all, I won't want to go at one peak, despite the North Face collection. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But like I just thought like, fuck me. Yeah, he is f- I'm fine for for him. You don't have yeah. fucking Yeah, yeah. He's got no to do and he's got enough money to fly around the world and climb up these fucking peaks with like probably guided tours and shit that must cost thousands of pounds. Everest is obviously one of those peaks. That's an expensive thing if you yeah. can't if, if you want to fuck me, what a tangent. <laughs> yeah. I'm just frustrated. And I wasn't frustrated. Well, I was frustrated when we started, but yeah. for, because of the MacBook charger. Mm. Now I'm frustrated because I'm just accidentally letting all my frustrations out on a podcast, which maybe that's good. Maybe it's not. Yeah. When do you think live events will come back? Like, and, 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 it, and here's a question. So like, I feel, I feel as though like, okay, so if festivals are a complete write off, Apparently, mm. this this year, like, are uh, one thousand, two thousand 
people or okay, okay to get together? Like, at what point is it? Is it like because because sh- surely in, in my head, like if you're gonna mingle with a thousand people, you might as well mingle with a festival site because that's still a big old crowd. Yeah. How are you gonna limit? Yeah, that's like, the it, thing. It, 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 it the doesn't thing. work. A festival doesn't work if you if you like put into congregations of people that like oh this is your mm. bubble obviously yeah. it doesn't work it's about like vibing with people and connecting with people um, especially for us in our privileged yeah, position yeah, like yeah. fuck me the amount of hands i shake at so like reading so like, I, it's like a, a weird th- a weird thing is like i saw these like you know biffy are doing that small smaller talk yeah, or two a, or two size venues and i'm like I'm like why like is it is it yeah, it, it's it, still sold it, out at is two it, to three thousand capacity. Yeah, and it, so is is that because it feels safer for venue to book those venues, or like to me, it just it's, it's not, uh, yeah, it, it's is that. I mean, the thing is, like, yeah, is that worse than Leeds Arena, which is what 12, 12 13 thousand? And the answer is, I guess, yeah, it's five yeah. times worse. But but at what point is it going to be going to be where? when? Like, I can't see it happening where it's like, oh yeah, or two academy. Um, yeah, you're fine going there, but we can't have hundreds, like not like tens of thousands of people all mingling. When uh, I went on that NHS thing, yeah, uh, there's like an NHS vaccine prediction thing, and it's like, when is a vaccine going to be available for you? Yeah. So you put in your postcode, you put in your age, and you put in like that you're fine <laughs> for use of a better <laughs> yeah, word. Yeah. Um, that you're not vulnerable. Yeah. That you're yeah. healthy, relatively, you know diet and shit aside i guess like uh, you don't <laughs> yeah. have any underlying health conditions healthy how many packets of crisps do you eat <laughs> a week <laughs> i've cut down on the number i just have bigger bags um and it that nhs things reckons there's going to be a vaccine for me around july really yeah which means the same for you the same for all of our friends that's, that's and early. everyone else we've got to be the least priority yeah young that's the thing I'm a, when people ask me like oh like it, like the whole vaccine thing I'm always there like it's the last thing on my mind I think I should be like the literal Absolutely. last person on the and list. We've proven we don't need the fucking thing. Yeah, like like put me to towards the end even if I haven't had it I think I'll just shut up about it and just get on. Yeah, if you could if you could be like right I'm not going to have a vac- vaccination because I'm eager for everyone else to get theirs first, which is obviously how it works. Yeah. But if it meant that, like, I could just, I would be totally comfortable signing a release, signing, not a release, signing a form saying, I am wholeheartedly aware that if I enter this venue, any repercussions, it's like, no, wave all yeah, liability. Yeah, yeah. No problem. No fucking problem. I'll, I'll do it now. I'd do it now. <laughs> yeah. I would do it now. Yeah. If there was a gig that was somehow happening in the O2 Academy tonight, and it was all fine. And Boris said it. This one gig is fine. Whoever it was, <laughs> I'd go. It's uh, I'd go. It's that Frank Turner gig that he put on where it's all seated. <laughs> it would have been him though, would it? Like, I, like yeah, I saw that. I type. saw that in the news, and I was like, it, it. Of course, it's him. Like trying to, trying to save a music venue, even if it, even if it is like just one art. That I, I pulled that out my ass again. Like I don't know. I tell you what, what Frank. Thought. Why don't you fucking. Make some PPE for everyone. <laughs> eh? Why don't you use something fucking useful? I remember the headlines after that. Frank Turner gig was not a success. Yeah. <laughs> well, in what world was it, was it going to be a success? I know it's all for like... Only because everyone looked miserable because it was Frank Turner. I'm joking. Frank Turner was very good when we saw him. Yeah. At 2000 Trees. Oh, man. What, um, do, you, what, what do you reckon then? Slam dunk going to happen or not? No way, man. Slam dunk's way too soon. And... Mm. I think, this is again, pulling it out of my ass. I don't think they're big enough to, like, we might look back on this and someone might comment this age well, but I think Reading and Leeds has a chance. It's at the back end of the year, almost. Mm. The, it's in the third third of the year. <laughs> um, it is... Like that, they've taken some steps clearly already with the two yeah. main stages thing. Yeah, and they are saying my, the NHS app is telling me that I'm going to be vaccinated by July. So that tells me Leeds is a maybe. However, I won't be buying a Leeds ticket right now. So ah, oh, come on, man! <laughs> don't hurt no, the true. sales like that. It's true. I don't have two hundred quid to piss into a potential. Yeah, it's a, it's the same thing. Saying I can't say that. I just said. Don't go on Ryanair's website and book the 
cheap flights that are, that are going because you can't look for you can't be sure um, even if you do get a full, full refund so yeah because uh, it's not as easy as getting a full refund well but even if it was it's like well that's 200 quid that I'm spending on on something but I could do that 200 quid now for something mm. else yeah you're uh, right my food shop because I prefer nicer noodles than super noodles you know what I mean mm. I feel yeah. you bro yeah you ever put a little bit of Nando sauce? On oh, please, noodles? man! Yeah, I was, I was <laughs> ask Chris Polton what I was doing in uni. I was putting oregano and Ooh. shit in my super noodles. <laughs> I've not enjoyed oregano since because I had so many with oregano. I'm sick to death of the shit. Um, like what? I, I, th- I think it's, I think those big festivals where like you know that so they're owned by a larger company. Yeah, I reckon they're less willing to take the risk. So where you've got a large organization. Um, you always have to answer to the person above, whereas uh, and say we think it's going to go ahead. Right, it's financially viable. The risk is very little. Therefore, our risk in in the risk in spending this money and not getting it back is very little. But if the risk is high, then they're going to go. Don't put the festival on. Pull out early. We're not going to do it. We're going to play it safe. Whereas with somebody who is smaller, doesn't have to answer to anyone. And like two thousand trees. Yeah, that's what I'm kind of getting to that who doesn't have to answer to, it, to anyone and sort of organises it all themselves as well. Um, if they don't have to answer to anyone, if they put on like a a, a, a festival where... Aside from the government. Yeah, well, yeah. They don't have any like if, if they put managerial on a, overheads is yeah, what you they, mean, yeah. If they put on a festival and, and it comes back that, ooh, like obviously there's no le- legal problems, uh, but ooh, it was frowned upon. Do they and like obviously they care, but like who do they have to answer to? So I think it's a lot less risky for those independent festivals, apart from the whole money thing, I guess. But I get, <laughs> I guess the thing with that is like, if it's okay for any festival to go ahead, every it, it'll every, just go every ahead. festival will. Yeah. So it's not we're not going to be at a point where they're allowed. It's okay for festivals, but like Live no, but, Nation and Festival Public, like ooh, no, but they risky, might so bit frowned upon. So they'll they'll. If if they got the go ahead to put on a festival this year, regardless of the pa- like whatever happens with the pandemic, they'd still put it on. But the reason, so the reason for making this was that apparently there's going to be an announcement next week or sometime this month saying these festivals are going to be cancelled cancelled this month. So if the situation might be that I don't know, we get to April, things are looking better, um, and festivals can happen. But actually, they've all been cancelled in in January. Yeah, that's the that's the thing, isn't it? A so, preemptive so cancellation. So then it, it's left to the smaller independent festivals to be like, well, yeah, we never cancelled because we had to put all or nothing into this. So, yeah, boom, like sold tre- out trees, festival. Trees yeah. did leave it until like the last minute to cancel. I yeah, don't yeah. mean like the night before, but <clears throat> they they left it very late. Yeah, yeah, because they got to they've, they've got yeah. to they got to make the money. They got to go in with a positive at- attitude and be like, it's a risk, but. So with that we in have. mind, then I guess Trees is a, is a more likelihood than any other festival that we would attend this year. Yeah, probably because it's. L- I don't, I'm sure it's the other smallest, event. latest. Yeah, yeah, um, and it'll be interesting to see that. Again, I'm pulling this out my ass, but like, if those festivals do get cancelled this month, which is just again, I've read a headline. Would there be like a would there be a rush to try and string one together? Because I guess what you've also got to think about is get catfish Liam and Stormzy on yeah, the phone. Yeah. So if we saw if we saw like the UK out and do that thing of like yeah we're closing all the borders and we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna test everything everyone that goes in in and out and we're gonna get it right here, I know chance would be a fine thing, um, but but like ev- everyone's thing, everyone's indeed. everyone's vaccinated, well then like well okay but Le- but Leeds and Leeds and Reading other festivals download. They they've oh. they've all got um, uh, American bands on. Do you know on what I just thought as well? Go on. When download gets cancelled, yeah, which it absolutely fucking will. There's no way the book, uh, booking biffy for 2022. Nah, nah. <laughs> there's no way they'll <laughs> no. get Iron Maiden back. Do you reckon? That, do you reckon that was a booking made because they are British? They're available. They're yeah. cheap. Yeah. Ish. Yeah. And yeah, they're British. Yeah. It's the whole risk thing, isn't it? Like if you're, if you're. Oh uh, fuck this! <laughs> Honestly, man, I didn't even think about that. Oh, it's interesting. It. Um, I. Do, do you know what would maybe ease the, soften the blow a little bit? Go on. I know I'm talking about Biffy. You know that Biffy Barrowlands gig that they did. 
Yes. Live Biffy live streamed their full album, the new album, A Celebration of Endings. Yep. Um, live from the Barrowlands Ballroom in Glasgow. And it's it the first was time I heard that album. A great first way to listen to yep. it. Um, and it was a live pay-per-view live stream. Yep. I would really benefit from more bands doing that. Like, especially here where we can sync the lights up with the music. Yeah. We can get foot. We can almost make it as close to a gig as possible. Like, I've been getting really hyped, like, watching just, like, live sets on YouTube in the middle really? of the day. Like, and I actually get, I'm not, like, up and jumping and stuff. But, like, <laughs> I'd love to see But, that. like, the root of the emotion is there. Yeah, yeah. Like, I'm, I'm getting it, and I'm, like, I'll catch myself, like, doing a bit of, like, air drumming, like, really, and then I'm, like, hang on a minute, what am I doing? I'm fucking sat watching the TV. Yeah. Like, I'm surprised more bands haven't done that. Like, I'd pay for that. I think I, it's... I would pay, like, 20 quid for, like, a a pro live-streamed event like Biffy's. Mm. I mean, I didn't. <laughs> I, yeah. I pirated it. I guess it's because... I, I, guess I would do now. I guess it's because of the thing of, like, I don't know, I have... Like when I when I talk to talk to my band some, some sometimes like people ask uh, they've they've been like maybe we should should do an acoustic gig and I've been like I don't I don't want us to do an acoustic gig because that's not what we are yeah that wouldn't it, so, necessarily work yeah like, exactly. I mean I'm it's, sure you'd make it work but yeah yeah but like it's not it's not what I want people to see when they, when they, when they see us it's not that like it wouldn't work it's just that yeah I'd, I'd rather just do a full show because that's what we that's what yeah but you could get like Broco so in the practice room of the studio that they're currently working on their album in yeah and get them to record a hour and a half live show but maybe it, take a few more risks than they would in the normal one play a bad feeling get dan <laughs> lancaster who's sat in the next fucking room but it's to the thing mix of, it and master it probably in an hour it's the thing of like being the stubborn musician that's like that isn't how I want this music to be experienced. Oh. I, that isn't the experience that I want people to have when they come see us. I don't want them to be sat in the living room. I want to be able to control the room and the light show and it be a full-on experience, not just, ah, Rob Kellers has hooked up a Philips Hue system to his Toshiba TV straight from Asda. And he's got don't his... Don't tell him. <laughs> it's the penthouse. Okay, how's this then? How's this? I would be actively excited for... Um, August bank holiday weekend. If mm -hmm. Leeds was cancelled, yeah, and the situation was four households can mix, um, and there was a televised thing all through the day, <clears throat> like a Leeds fest that's that's streamed, yeah, and you pay per view because yeah. we'd out, we'd make fun of it. We'd set the tent up like we did for lockdown uh, load. Yeah, we'd get the lights going. We'd all get fucked up, and we would. Yeah, ultimately the experience is accessible because it's yeah. within us. Yeah. I'm not talking about making a video. I'm talking about having a good time with your mates and watching some. Yeah, they yeah. They could get fucking Doja Cat to film a 40 minute but set. Again, but again, it's the thing of the whole experience isn't there. Yeah, um, I know, but everyone wins. Like everyone wins. Red and Lee's make it pay-per-view. I'll pay. No fucking problem. <laughs> um, fucking artists get paid or do it for free for the good of the industry. You know, you, artists are sharing this shit on Instagram all the time. Yeah. Oh, they were really struggling. What, no problem. Here, you scratch Red... I'm talking about Red and <laughs> You scratch the industry's back and we'll scratch it. Let's work together. I don't mean us. This this is the industry speaking. Help us out with this. We'll, we'll cover what we can. We'll pay for gear to be sent to you. So I don't fucking know. But that would make me... <laughs> I would spend, if I could have a weekend of live music streamed into my living room. Yeah, yeah. And I can set a tent and I can get a camping chair and you can come around and Dan can be here and we can have loads to fucking drink and I would I, 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 I would access that experience. That experience would be there for me. Just, just do that. Uh, like I, just I, do that. I wouldn't, I wouldn't care for it. Personally. Really? Yeah. The, 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 again, it's all about the experience. The experience just isn't there. See, seeing some some live music is is but it's all in your head it's all in your head <laughs> it's not like rain and a, a festival it's like oh it's actually just just getting a bit a bit wet the only state reason you're miserable mind. is because it's no, the state it's of mind in your been... head the euphoria and the joy of seeing what, a I'll band I'll live. You what, if you saw fallout boy stream live on telly and it's literally live right <laughs> not live but it's I'll tell you I'll tell you, you, I'll, I'll tell you what played then. water catch donny and all the guest singers I'll, came out i'll tell you what then uh, you know, uh, next year, mm. 
when I somehow get Glassdoor tickets, you stay at home no, and you watch it on BBC. No, because the difference is, the difference is, this is if the la- the real event is not available. It's yeah. obviously not the same. Yeah. It's just something that could be done that wasn't really done this year. Like, but the industry's had a lot of time now to make these preparations and earn some money doing it. Yeah. The only, what what did we see live stream last year? Biffy did that gig. There's this been, a, there's this been loads thing. of bands that have done it to be It's another thing for me. They weren't live. And that ruined it for me. Well, I was this when right I, when I when I was watching Biffy, um, and I I it's too hard to do that live. I, I get I get that, but I was I was I genuinely watched that with excitement, and I was like, "This is great, this is brilliant." And then I sort of realised, and then then he walked okay. out, he walked outside, and I saw it wasn't dark, and I was like, "Oh yeah, of course it's not live. That'd be literally almost impossible to do. It would be too almost impossible." But do you know who did fucking do it <laughs> with respect? To Mr. Tom Pullen and Co., who is very talented, but he's not a fucking... He who? is an industry professional, but he's not like a production studio. Maybe he is, but... Tom Pullen and Broco and whoever else worked on that 5 for 5 fest, that was a live stream fucking event. Was it? Yeah. Absolutely. No way, People were I, interacting with the chat and everything. There was, there was pre-rendered shit splitting it up because I was mm. in it. So when the bands were playing, you're telling me that was all live streamed? I'm certain that a lot of it was. I might be wrong, but that was a small team that, that made that happen. And it was the best one of its kind and the only one of its kind that I saw because download re-showing Biffy's gig and uh, Iron Maiden set is not is not good enough. It's lazy. I would be very surprised if it was live streamed. I didn't watch a lot of a lot of it. I think I watched maybe five fucking minutes of it. I'm not going to lie to you. That's why it's called Five for Five Fest. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I watched. I watched, I watched it all. My time. I watched it all. I watched both days. Yeah, Me and Danny watched it. We were in I the don't... tent, and it felt good. Like it felt like. So because... you're telling. So think about the latency. If if. If right. Ma- okay. Guess what? Some of it might have been pretty. <laughs> yeah, there we are. All of the songs. All but of those if responses. you're not, but what? How? How important is that to you? I mean, I mean, it's very, that's a very. I mean, I was disappointed, but uh, but again, my main point is that if it's, every, it's recorded, everything else. If surrounded. it's recorded live, and it's the first time anyone's ever seen it, and it's all being seen at the same time, then you may as well say, "Well, I'm not watching when you're at a festival." This isn't live because the light's taking time to reach my eyes. <laughs> <laughs> I'm obviously exaggerating. What a tangent. I think that would be great. And I would be actively looking forward to and book time off for Reading and Leeds Festival and probably download, but definitely Reading and Leeds if they did that. And we'll, we'd help. And this, but we'd, this- we'd put, we'll, we'll help you. If you want a live stream tip, from me, it's don't use your MacBook Pro when it's plugged in. <laughs> yeah. And that's a freebie. But think how many creators could come together. Like yeah. artists, creators, like I think this is all let's do, let's do, fucking sort something out for yeah. fuck's sake. Yeah, do it on your MacBook, yeah. <laughs> I how, don't mean me, I don't mean us. Like is. whatever with us, don't fucking matter. Just what did we have this bank? I mean, we went to J Grey Fest. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, true. Okay. If re- if that was streamed, if they did this stream festival I've just invented that this podcast now about. Yeah. And a J Grey Fest experience was happening at the same time, mm. I'd stay in and watch the Leeds thing. Really? A hundred percent. Even though you could literally just watch it a few days later. No, you can't. Yeah, somebody's gonna record it. It's not got recorded. I'm t- I'm can't. ask I'm asking you to uh, to record no, it. No, because that's where the that's when the experience falls down for me. Mm. I wish I'd have watched that Biffy gig live, but I couldn't because I was busy doing summit. I can't remember. But there's something about seeing it the same. That's why people tune into the live streams. Yeah. If we uploaded a six hour video of us doing Centurion, no one would watch it. Well no but because but we do it live, people come to it. Yeah, I agree with that. I don't know, like, what a fucking tangent I've gone on there. I think it'd just be a great idea. I'm really passionate about it. I guess maybe the inner content creator in me yeah. is thinking of ways. I think... Too much. Ego alert. <laughs> we did more to fill the void for people this festival season than every other festival. Every other festival. 
We did a full in real life festival video. We did a full festival at home yeah, that true. took a lot of fucking effort. And we did live streams of us reacting to all our festivals. Yeah, but this is like what we do though. We make yeah. content. And I'm not saying we deserve a medal or anything or 10 of your mates to subscribe or anything. Yeah. But I'm just saying It'll like, be good though. we did as a small production house, AKA me on a Mac <laughs> and everyone's time when we've got it. We, I feel like we did more. Well, yeah, but, but like I said, that's because that's what we do. Yeah, but this is, they should be doing it. It's our, it's it's them coming into our field. We're not going into theirs. That's like saying, Rob, how many how many live events have you put on since? Uh, yeah, since, I know. Imagine if but streaming was outlawed, is, making videos on YouTube is, was outlawed. The difference is. How many live events are we going to put on? I'm one guy who started this YouTube channel. Yeah. And I couldn't do it without you. And the boys. I was going to say Dan then. And Bridie. <laughs> <laughs> um, but anyone can do that. Anyone can do it. <sighs> I'm just frustrated. Anyone, anyone just could be. And it's just put on a live stream thing. And they will. They will do it. They're not going to see this because it's 52 minutes into a podcast. There's no way anyone... But, Influential is listening to this right now. No disrespect to anyone listening, but my point is: remember, it can this all ain't be getting taken back out of to, context. <laughs> this ain't getting back to anyone in this field, but I bet they do it. Do what? Put on some kind of live stream. BBC Radio One did it for I Big think, Weekend, I don't and think it was it's fucking gonna get to, I don't think it's going to get to that point, man. I don't think. I, I think it's going to be just cancel the festival again. Um, if we can't do it okay I, how's about this do well, it yeah and that's your reward for not claiming a refund you don't have to pay anything more but if you don't refund your ticket after the festival's cancelled and keep the money in the industry you can access this yeah but uh, so that's but then that means they won't have any money for next year like they've still got that money in a pot but then they've not made any money off they still will yeah I don't know. Is my I'm response. just think, I'm just thinking. I like. I'm not an industry professional. I'm just a avid consumer mm. of the industry itself, and I'm just thinking, how can the industry give something to the consumers while also benefiting themselves and the artist? I don't see how anyone loses in my hypothetical situation, unless there's an insane overhead that I'm missing, which is very likely. I don't see how anyone loses. The festival gets exposure and it's in people's eyes because it'd all be branded. Yeah. The artist gets exposure. The money is there. I I just don't see it tech like I imagine a company like Live Nation have furloughed their staff in the UK when necessary. Yeah. See this, so this get the IT guys that are sat at home doing fuck all, up their pay by twenty percent to make it back to a hundred and get them running the streams. Give him a crash course in OBS on Skillshare.com <laughs> slash TPD. I just think it's very doable and let's just do it, man. Just get it done. I think they should there's just no replacement for of for live for live events. Not. Yeah. It's not a replacement. So I don't I don't think it's I don't I don't think com the companies that do the festivals are in the, they're not in the business of, of trying to figure it out. So and they, and they know that at some point so either either this year or next year it's it's probably gonna gonna come back. So why invest all that upfront effort in trying to figure it out when you know what next year are they ever gonna do a live stream again? Probably not. Because they're passionate about it. Because we nah. Because I, I put that effort in, yeah, and I so don't you, make so, any. Well, so you I, would do it, and you're and you're wanting it, and the ind independence probably would. That five for five festival. Who is that run by? Tom Pullen and uh, someone else. Was it's, it? It's, I, I, it's just some industry. Some. Some guys who like live music and are a part of the live yeah, music exactly. scene in ways. So, so they're pa they're literally passionate about it. Businesses don't care. Man. Oh, it's just mad. It's not good. It's not a good business. Like you, what you're making, like a ten a tenner a person, and you got two thousand people watching it. You wouldn't have two thousand. You'd have more than that. Yeah, I just I don't, I don't know. Like I just think it's a good fucking idea. I think that's a good idea. Do it then. I've already done it once, mate, and I'm burnt <laughs> out because I'm one guy. Making all, no disrespect, Raz. I know you, we couldn't do a lot of the shit without you. 
So I'm going to go, I don't want to like minimize what everyone else does, but I created all the assets. I edited the whole thing. I come up with, I like the lockdown load thing. I've done it already. Yeah, yeah. I've already done it as one man on the, on the tech side. I've already done that. And, and look at the incredible product that we achieved at the end of that. Yeah, yeah. And I'm one guy. Yeah. They have professional video editors, professional people that are looking for work. Like the camera people are doing fuck all. I don't know. I'm just thinking. There's some just guys like I'm you just, again who are just I'm passionate. Just this isn't their field, how man. Is this, not how is that not a win for everyone? Because it's not that? profitable. It's not, it's not profitable for their fucking bank. Do you know what? You must be right. Yeah. You must be right. You know, There's obviously you know, something I'm missing. Do, they can do that or they can furlough themselves. They can take and and they can claim, you know, I'm not yeah, making any money. To be fair, the government pay that, don't they? If I can, and it's the thing of like, if I can't do what I want, then I'm just going to sit on my ass and, and, and at home. And yeah, fair play. You know what? Because they got fucking bills to pay. Yeah, like I'm, I'm, I'm just, yeah, fair enough. Frustrated like, is the word. There's obviously it's something I've missed. But as a consumer, I'd love to see it. As a creator, I've done it. So I'm kind of in a position to have that opinion, but I'm welcome to be corrected as to why that can't happen. Money is the problem. I just don't get how like we did it for free. We have like, loads of issues. Again, we're, we're, we're passionate again about uh, about it. So it's uh, like in the, in, the, in the same way we're, that we- We're talking about it too long. Yeah, like, yeah. I agree with your point. There will be something that I've not thought about. There'll be a glaring omission that my yeah, narrow yeah. mind can't see Yeah. as to why it won't happen. Yeah. But if it does, you have to say, you were right, man. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. And I'll be like, fuck me, as if, like, as if you know, a certain big industry body did that. Um, I put out a tweet, like, uh, towards... Do you know what's uh, annoying? What? <laughs> what? Um, it don't matter, go on. Put out a tweet at, at two today, and it's like, it's like nearly nine now. Um, seeing our festival is going to happen this year. I had like six, seven hundred people res- respond. 19% said yes. Mm. Eight, 81% of people said no. That was mental. Like the negativity and the and the thing. Like it's this real. year. It's realistic, oh, it's, isn't it? Yeah. But twi- but and I know it's, a, it, it's, it's the same old fucking story, but like the next 12 months, there's not going to be a single festival. And festivals can run right up to sep- September. Yeah, they can. Um, yeah, so got I nine guess, to, I guess to, everyone... And there is a way out now. Everyone's just... Everyone's just This beat. time last year, well, this time last year, no one gave a fuck. But in March, everyone was super positive about all the festivals happening. Yeah. And then when they got smacked the foot down, I guess it's people now that are just... Um, they don't want to lead yeah. themselves on with their thinking. It's it's that thing of... Do you, I think it's tied to the social distancing thing, isn't it? Festivals, th- thinking more more about it. When the social distancing goes out the window, that's when, that's got to be when, yeah, festivals you, are cool. I'll tell you what would be another idea. This one's less feasible than my first one. Go on. Glasto is 100,000 people. Yeah, so, yeah. I don't know. Um, <laughs> I've realized why this wouldn't work, but I'm going to say it anyway. Everyone can apply for Glastonbury tickets. Brilliant. It's a fifty pound fee to apply. Um, <laughs> and you're not one guaranteed. One four it. of oh. those people get a ticket and are allowed to pay the rest. Oh, the rest of them, fifty quid gone. Oh, that's such a. That's. <laughs> I know a, that that's a dumb idea. No, no, it's not a dumb people, idea. People, people, because you know, I'd pay for it. I would. I'd put my fifty yeah. quid in. No problem. Yeah. Uh, people go on bet three six five. Yep. Waste fifty quid. People yep. go to the casino. Waste fifty quid. People yep. spend it on a delivery across a weekend. Yeah. I'd pay that mm, for the I chance would. to to go. I would. Yeah. Yeah, they could make it an experiment as well to see. And, how and the, <laughs> the the point there is, they let um. You know, they social distance, so they have less capacity, but they've got at least a bit more money than... Oh, I thought you meant, like, it's a festival where, like, you can do anything you want, but you're contained, like... like no, no, no. It's an experiment. So if it's 100,000 people, <laughs> um, they, you know, 400,000 people are allowed to apply. Yeah. If Glasto is 100,000, which I'm not sure if it is, they, it, the aim of the game is do Glasto with 25,000 people. 
a quarter of the people so everyone can social distance at all times obviously it wouldn't work it wouldn't happen yeah. but that doesn't matter it just means it needs to be shown that they're making that effort yeah so 100,000 people are allowed to apply but only a quarter of them get the ticket and then it runs and everyone's social distancing I'm saying that like I'm sure people would social distance this, uh, this is the thing though like so the, the flaw is social distancing it doesn't it doesn't work but at, it's on the individual isn't festival. It? it's on the individual so it's not on the festival. Okay, looking at yeah. it from a business standpoint, they've been like, you need to social distance. Uh, if you don't social distance and we see you, you're going to get kicked out. Oh, that's... Uh, and people are getting drunk and, and like yeah, people are vibing you know at the what, festival. Yeah, but you Like, that's fine. Like, you want to do that, take your risk. Like, it's like saying people so getting drunk, security. they shouldn't be spilling a drink. But, it, but it, they do. Like, but then, but that's then, on you. But then the attitude of people, most people going in will be like, I'm not going to social distance. And then if everyone has that same, yeah, that it's same not, attitude, it's, it's yeah, like, well, right, what are they going to do? Like, throw everyone out? <sighs> Fuck 2021, man. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm feeling better about 2021, honestly. Like, 2020 was so negative. I wanted to leave a lot in 2020, and I feel like I had, including my hair, my blonde hair. Yeah. Synonymous with many bad times, so that's why I'm back to the classic. I already don't like it. I'm thinking about going back blonde already. Really? <laughs> yeah, I liked the blonde. Um, it's weird, because, like, on, on the on the screen, uh, you look like your old old self, but in person it's much more uh, much gingery. Yeah, isn't it? it's a bit I wasn't more like say brassy. That. It's yeah. more along the lines of, I mean, not even yours. It's more ginger than yours. No, yours. It, I don't know, man. Yours is like got a weird yellow thing it's going weird. on. It's weird. Yeah, I know it's strange. <laughs> it's because anyway, it doesn't matter because anyone listening to. It. Fuck me, this is a long conversation. We're on for yeah, and you said you said you, we couldn't talk to this shit about an hour. It's because I started ranting about COVID because I forgot how annoying it is. I'm yeah. gonna need a long bath after this. Yeah, um, I can't think. I can't think of any, anything else that, that we need to talk about. I get, um, oh man, the Fuck the, me. the 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 main main point is like, okay, so like this lockdown has been approved till like the 31st of March, uh, which is a long time for for it to happen. But got th- there's things happening, vaccines. Uh, you know that's that's the way out. The 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 story will probably like tell most of itself within the next coming weeks and like within the next eight weeks and you'll you, there must be a, some sort of trend or like just sort of that decline somewhere or just that that little sign of, that there's a decline coming um, that would, gives hope. I would love the thing you said, which is not going to happen because it gamifies it a little bit, but. Um, when the death rate is this, or the infection rate is this, we're going to reopen the shops. Yeah, yeah. When the infection mm. rate is this, we're going to reopen the pubs. And it just works its way up. Yeah. Because once the goal is there, it does gamify it. And I'll yeah. tell you what, if we were like close to the nightclubs reopening, I'd stay people in, would I'd stay stay in for a week. Yeah, yeah. But yeah. I guess we're not wired like most people. I guess well, I, get, well, I think most people are wired that way. If they, if they can... If pe- if you have a goal, like it's like without without a goal you can't score. Like if people if if people have just been told to stay at home, how long for? Don't know. When when do we get to go to go out again? Don't know. Uh, then people are just gonna be like, mm, get a bit frustrated. Yeah, we how don't long- even know when we're actually locked down until thirty first. It's written in law, but that could always be extended. It's That's just the, thing. the law. It's all, it's all, it's all, because it's, it's got to have a. It's all open open ended. So the thing is, like, if if they said. Right, we're locked down, and under these under these conditions, then we can then we can go into this this these things will will uh, will happen. Then, like, just show me the one for live events and trap and travel, and like people will people will they'll do it, man. Because that's the thing ev- everyone yeah. misses. Uh, like, w- what point do people have to? The only the only problem is that football. Fo- like, yeah. I don't give a fuck about football, but it's very comparable to live music. It's the it's same a, thing. It's live events. It, yeah. I don't give two fucks, but everyone loves football, man. Mm. People so would stay in to put get it, that back. Put it on a graph, show where we where we are now and where we, and where we need to get to. And people people will start to start to see. We're getting there, we're getting there. They'll have the mate who's who's pissing about and you know what? Summer something might happen to him. You know, if he if he does that does that certain thing again, who knows? Um <laughs> But but yeah, people fucking stick to it. Uh, anyway, it's very, that's very political, isn't it? Uh, about not being shown where things are going. Um, I don't know. I don't even know what is political and what's not. I'm so detached from politics. I don't even fully understand the definition of the word. 
I remember when... Oh, God. I remember when Black Lives Matter was at its peak. Yeah. In 2019. And it's sad to say that it was at its peak, but it, it peaked for sure. It was a common... Well, it's never stopped thing. being a peak in my mind. Isn't yeah, it? you know what I mean. That's why it's difficult to say. But everyone was an activist for a bit, for the right reasons. And I didn't think that was a political thing. I thought I was saying to people, like, when people were like, oh, don't, don't talk about politics. I was like, it's not political. It's like, it's more important than politics. It's about the human race. It's, it's about political. human rights, isn't it? But, yeah. but it turns out even that's political. Yeah. I don't understand. I don't know what politics is. I'm very Ill- ill-educated and decidedly removed from the entire yeah, but we're gonna, po- yeah. politics. You talk about things that thing like if it's a problem right in front of you, you're going to talk about it. If that thing happens to to be political, then yeah, we're going to talk about it. Like it's it's the it's it's. I, like, I wouldn't consider anything we've spoken about today political, but is it criticism of the government? Yeah, fuck the government, man. Fuck <laughs> Boris. <laughs> Yeah, I actually don't mean that though. Like, I don't, I don't think fuck the government, and I don't think fuck Boris. Oh, <laughs> Good, goodbye. But I'm also not like a. I'm not bigging up Boris, and I'm not bigging up the government. Like, yeah, neutral. I, yeah, I'm like Sweden, Switzerland, Switzerland. Yeah, that was good when it going to Switzerland. Yeah, yeah, through that little barn to get there as well. That was amazing. That was lovely, man. That was last year when we were in the middle of the fucking pandemic. Yeah. And we were allowed to do it. Yeah. The pubs, mate, is it's, it's just crazy. Why did you let us do it? <laughs> Why were we allowed to do that? Why were we allowed to I go think to I Milan twice? And That's you know true. what? You can say, like, you shouldn't have done it then. Someone else would have. Someone else would have done it. If we didn't do it, someone else would have and has. Yeah. Why didn't you just lock us down for six months? If you shouldn't do it, then make it so you're not able if to I do it. If I can do it, yeah. I will. It's like the whole... S- it's so, tell, so make me... Enforce that I do less. Yeah, it's it's like the whole thing. Oh. I'm not gonna I'm not t- gonna talk about security because that's a boring conversation. But it's a thing of like, if it's possible, then it then like it it somebody will find a way to do it. Like, it like yeah, we were like saying like right if we can go into like this country and this country, but not this one, but we can if we've been in there. We were we were. Yeah, 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 like people will find a way. We will find a way. It's like water; it will fill yeah. the shape and of its, its totally container. Yeah, yeah. And that's a really good analogy there from me. <laughs> Fuck me, that is great. Pulled out of the backside once again. It's a good one, though, isn't it? Yeah, I guess so. Um, do you think festivals are going to happen this year and live events? Will we th- be stood so. at a gig this year? Yes. I genuinely think so. I have hope. I have a lot of positivity. I I realise that, you know, that Oxford fucking vaccine, that's going to jab me up, you cunt, is what I'm saying, man. It's going to sort us all right out. One one dose and you're partially immune, double dose and you're like, bam. Yeah, man. It's going gonna, it's gonna to be gonna be good. Um, it reduces the level of um, people with, with issues... Um, getting hospitalized which is the main thing right so if people just get it and don't like think think about like a, a cold like people people get a cold you, you you had colds going around going around work i'm not comparing it to that by the way but you know that that would just go around and you'd be like oh yeah i'll take i'll take a couple of days off i'll recover from it boom so if we all get if if people stop dying from it and it's just it just becomes like a thing where okay i've got a good set, set of lungs lungs on me I'll just get it and then recover from it. Brilliant. Yeah. I wonder if I had it. I it's know it's such a football thing yeah, to say. Yeah. Like, I think I've had COVID. Yeah. But we were literally in Milan. Yeah, yeah. And then we came back and I don't get touch wood. I don't really get ill, especially to the point where I call in sick. I had like maybe two or three sick days of my entire working career. And I was off all week and bedridden. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just at the start, mm. when we were just starting to talk about COVID in yeah. England. I I don't know. And that would maybe be like part of the... I'm kind of connecting these dots now. Like, I had it, therefore you had it. You were asymptomatic. I just wasn't. We went all around and did all that stuff. Yeah, yeah. That's why we didn't get it again. Yeah. You know, I mean... I can't think, I can't remember the exact 
time, but there's a time where we've drank out of the same fucking container this year. Well, we probably did that a lot in in Milan. Let's face it. Yeah, like try this drink. It's awful. Yeah. Oh, sick, brilliant. <laughs> yeah, it, yeah. yeah, of course. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so like when he, when he I, makes us taste that, and you're just like, why? I, reckon, I know why. I reckon we had it. I definitely. I reckon I had it. But again, I'm conscious yeah. it's a bit of the a test thing it. to say. Yeah. It's like that, you know, that picture that people post on Twitter um, of them like four like smartly dressed lads with like the tight pinstripe trousers on and like there's always a Oh, cold, yeah, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah um, I know exactly. I reckon I've already had COVID. Just get on with it. It's just a cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's... I also think we'll be at a gig at some point this year. Yeah, absolutely. Um, and if all festivals are cancelled, but somehow they could... They could happen, and it need, and it needs to be a small festival that is independently run by uh, by some professionals who are yet to set up a private limited company. Uh, well then, so so be it. You know, we'll have to, you know, it'll figure its, itself Remember out. Remember when we did that April Fools? That oh. was, in fact, yeah, we did an April Fools last mm. year uh, yeah, that yeah. we were going to oh, run yeah. a festival. Yeah, yeah. Even that was during the COVID pandemic. That seems like years ago that we did that little oh, Insta post. Did we actually? Yeah, because the, the tagline was, it was obviously a joke, and it was like the only festival that doesn't care about COVID, <laughs> and it yeah. was like the Cribs yeah. and DMAs or something. I don't oh know. my God, yeah. Um, TPD Fest or something. Yeah. Um, <laughs> oh, God. That's crazy. Yeah, it Ap- is. April seems like such a... Obviously, it was a long, a long time ago, but... I, it, like when su- you, when summer you, made it better let's face it winter's making this lockdown shit darkness is making this lockdown shit I can't stop listening to them though <laughs> <laughs> mad to think they headlined Red and Lee's one yeah you? crazy and Razor Light as well no way yeah what a fucking it, what Razor did Razor Light, Light do? He- Razor Light what are you really gonna do with this time? no <laughs> like they do that I saw the girl with the golden touch oh. like they, one hit, they had another one called Oh My Life Living in America. But they had like oh. two hits and straight to the top of the roster. And the year after, I think, Metallica, Rage and <sighs> um, Killers. Yeah. Razor like, how were they yeah. walking in? They play the fucking Bridlington Spa or some shit now. Yeah. If if Leeds and Reading does, does happen, do you think, uh, like, let's say, like, mid-year, we're all like, right, sick. We're all back in Stone Roses and everything, oh. every, everything's back to normal. Uh, throwing his picks out to the catfish solo. Um, do you reckon they're going to keep those two stages? Do you reckon that like was that a COVID yeah. thing about think, about them having the idea of like, ooh, how can we distance large? Yeah, like, it, it definitely was a COVID thing, but I think the acts are booked. Yeah, the plans are there based on that. They have to go with it. It's probably as easy for them to just go with it now as it is to revert. Yeah, because then they're going to have assuming that there's a headliner on each main stage yeah. each night. Yeah. I don't think any of them would be, but some of them might be a bit precious. Yeah. You know, like, I'm not going on second to top. Yeah, I'm not. I could, I'm, I could I'm not. headline the main stage too, or I could sub-headline post. Yeah, one, it's like if you're in a band and you're headlining the, is it Radio 1? Yeah. Tent, would you be happy with support in main stage rather than headlining uh, yeah, Radio I, 1? Yeah, it's a weird one, isn't it? Because... Smashing Pumpkins absolutely weren't. Smashing Pumpkins at Download turned down the headline NME slot, and there was no NME there. But they turned that down, and then they were offered the sub, um, whichever headliner was on that night, um, on that last night of, um, what was that Leeds Fest? No, it was Download. They subbed, like, last Download, Smashing Pumpkins were in a sub headline slot, and they took that, but refused the smaller stage headline really? i think it's a better slot yeah. to headline that tent yeah because you're the last you you get the full the full show yeah you, you get, got you a get full the longer show. show you got the you got the the back dr- the the back line um all, of, all of all of the lighting rigs yours you get to bring that along and you get a big old budget for it as well probably you even often get to finish later than the main stage yeah 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 um especially Le- leeds and reading yeah because it's um, because it, yeah. Oh yeah, Leeds and Reading specifically. I was talking about that. Yeah, but. yeah. Um, but it's not. It's it's seen elsewhere as well. Um, What's going on here in the chat? Someone's found a bomb. <laughs> uh, I think it's something in America. Oh, I don't care then. Yeah, if we can't go, I don't care. Yeah. <laughs> oh. I'm sure I'll read about it later on. 
Yeah. Well, what a mardy fucking chat this was. I but, don't know. Oh, no, it's all good. Like, it's just a time to vent mm. and a time to share our opinions. Yeah. Maybe a bit too much, too more, too much more than we should. Yeah. I but hope I'll help you edit this one. I'm not gonna. The really? only thing I'm gonna edit in is this at the start. Hi everyone. <laughs> Before we get started on this episode, I just want to say that I get a bit frustrated in this one, and just take it with a pinch of salt because I'm just talking without really thinking too much about it. Brilliant. <laughs> that makes it sound a lot more yeah, controversial. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, I'm not going to put that in at the start. No. I don't think, I don't know. I don't, I, it's, it's another it, thing that 2020 has done. Made me second guess everything I say. Yeah. Made me scared of everything I say. I, I'm, I've been raised properly. I've got good morals. And Get out your own for the, ass. For the Fuck most me. part, for the most part, I'm an all right lad. So why am I so like concerned about what we've just said in the last uh, because the whole cancelling thing. Because everyone's a little fucking bitch. <laughs> you included. Me included. Oh. I knew I shouldn't have had Ben Phillips' punk IPA that's been sat in my fridge for um, 10 months. Yeah, something like that. It'll have fermented by Which now. Which is weird because we didn't live here 10 months ago. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you everyone that watches our podcast and listens to our podcast. I'm sorry this one's been a bit of a rambling ranty one. I'm also sorry that the um, exposure's a little high, but we are using a new setup. We hope you enjoyed our Centurion live stream and we sincerely appreciate your support and attention. Yeah. I can't, you know what I can't wait for? What? To see if like all of this is just like, like maybe in a, in, a, in a week or two's time where it's like, boom, all festivals canceled this year. Like then. Oh, that, then we go viral. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Fuck me. We're trying to go viral for 10 years and we got in a fucking newspaper for a fucking lay by in Scotland. Are you taking the piss? Yeah. Do you know how hard I've worked? And we've worked. The thing is, not like, just me. It's not just me. Do you know how hard we've all worked <laughs> to go viral, to like scramble together to get a last minute piece of content out that True. then means everyone's evenings interrupted, and I'm editing for like six hours to get some content out. No, you don't need to do that, mate. Just be a fucking prick, and it yeah, works. Yeah, true. Good God. Yeah, man. Um, shock value in it. It's it certainly gets those clicks. Oh, it does. Shame. Not on, not on our videos, though. <laughs> it didn't really even, it didn't really do us any favours at all. Absolutely not. It wasn't intended to. It's just us being dumb. This the is the thing, said, like, the, like... The less said about it, the better. Yeah, you're right. The less yeah. said about it, the better. Um, I had one more point to make, but I cannot remember what it was. Oh, yeah. Um, anyone out there that's an industry professional or knows an industry professional... Um, It'd be cool to have a discussion. Like, we'd love to maybe get on, like, a voice, mm. a video call and have a chat with, like, your Melvin Ben types. Just like this? Yeah, yeah. Just do yeah. A, doing a podcast. Well, we, we did it with Chucky earlier. Why not yeah. <laughs> Why not someone actually who knows something? Um, if anyone does know anyone, or if, if you're in a touring band that's big and going to get some clicks, if you're a promoter, we'd just love to maybe yeah. continue this discussion throughout the summer. It would have been good to have someone here for this. Uh, not literally here, but like someone on, someone on the call, yeah. someone on a... I th I'm apprehensive to reach out because there's only so much rejection I can take. Ah. Um, but yeah, it, it would be good. You know, we might... It, you know, we... I s spoke to Melvin somewhat recently. Yeah. Maybe we could get him on for a chat, but... That would be nice. And the thing with him is he's very just chill. So he, he would just say whatever he wanted. But yeah, I'm not going to reach out. Because, again, it just makes me overthink. If I don't get a response, I just then worry that we're not doing, creating good. I like, this is what 2020 has done to me, man. It's turned me into a right fucking pussy. Yeah, well, it's always been there a little bit. A lot. <laughs> yeah, it's been there, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. underline. Oh, man. Thanks so much, everyone. Any closing comments from you, Raz? 2021, man. It's the, it's the year. Things are going to happen. Travel's going to gonna come back. Uh, live events are going to come back. Quote me on it, and uh, and you know I'm happy to be wrong. Uh, no, I'm not. I'll be fucking. I'll be annoyed if I'm if I'm wrong. But I genuinely think things are starting to look a bit a bit more positive. And the first positive step that we can take is knowing that we've recorded this one hour and twenty minute podcast and quick Incredible. time. Quick time hasn't cut out once, which yeah. means it was all to do all these tech issues to do with a charger. 
Something that's not even data. Yeah. Just a charger. Thanks, everyone. We love you. We'll leave you. Join the Sampelli squad. Thanks to everyone on Patreon. Love you very, very much. Um, that's it from me. Goodbye. Bye. Bye.